Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am gonna to talk you through some of my really cheap travel essentials that you can get from places like Home Bargains and Poundland and Primark. So if you're interested in seeing what I've got to show you, then just continue to watch. Ooh, so dangerous, I get this rush. So hi everybody, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Juliet. I am a mom of two boys and I do three videos a week on all sorts. I do lots of hauls and fashion, beauty, lifestyle vlogs. So if that's the kind of thing you're interested in, there's a little subscribe button down here in red somewhere. If you wanted to click that and stick around, it really would mean the world to me. And don't forget to hit the bell so you know when I'm uploading next. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So firstly, Please ignore the fact that I do look very brown because I fake tan this morning. I haven't yet washed it off. Thought it'd be appropriate for a holiday vlog though. Yeah, I'm gonna be bringing a travel slash holiday series. So today I thought I would go through some travel essentials that I have picked up from shops such as Poundland and Home Bargains. A couple of things from Amazon, but I will show you and I will link everything below. So firstly, I picked up this first aid kit out of Poundland and I just thought it was such a bargain. Now it has got in here, not a lot, it's got some plasters and some waterproof elastic, some medical tape and some scissors and some adhesive. I really liked the bag that it came in and I thought for a pound like you could put your own things in there and put some tablets and things that you need especially when you've got children it's always really good to take first aid kit on holiday and for a pound I just thought that that was so so good second of all let's talk toiletries so I used to go and um, we've got a shop called Body Care by us which is like a drugstore um, that's a really good place to get miniatures of all your favourites I know that Asda and Tesco and a lot of places do them now but they can be quite expensive so I picked up this travel bottle set now this one was from Home Bargains it was about 79 or 89 pence this has got three squeezy bottles in you can also get these in Primark um, and you can also get them with different lids as well so you can get ones that have got lip balm cases in and some that have got just like the flip top shampoo lids these are so good for holiday because you can just decanter some of your own shampoo some of your own conditioner and some of the kids body wash or kids shampoo and then you can just put like labels on them or just write on them in a sharpie of what is in there and it just saves you so much money because these can be used over and over again another travel essential if you've got children is a neck pillow and i am so glad that i found these in poundland these aren't the best quality but for my children who are quite small these are perfect they've even got a clip so you can clip it onto their suitcase or their rucksack and it's just great for if they're in a flight in the flight and they want to sleep on the plane or if you're going on a long car journey and you have children like mine that when they fall asleep they do that in the seat so it's nice to have one of these so if they do fall asleep then the head doesn't hang they do do really nice ones actually in primark and um, they do a black and gray mickey mouse one and also have got i think a mini mouse one in there next travel essential that i want to talk to you about is something that i have done for years now and it is such a good tip so i got these laundry bags they've just got little drawstring tops and i got these from poundland they were they sell them in b m as well i've seen them there and they were just a pound each and it's like a giant net laundry bag and i got two and what i do when i go on holiday is i use it to put the dirty laundry in so i use one for whites and one for coloreds and i just think these are so good because they that means when you get home you open your suitcase you take these out and you bung them in the washing machine and then that is your washing done because I don't know about you but one of the things I hate most about coming back is unpacking and washing I'm gonna actually talk about sun cream in another video another travel essential that I think is really good and I get mine from home bargains and it's this aloe vera gel when i have any sunburn any bites any kind of hives because sometimes i do have sensitive skin this aloe vera gel is amazing i think it's about two pound from home bargains i'm not 100 percent sure i'm sure it's only about that and i always take this on holiday with me it's also really nice if you have sunburn to put in the fridge and then put it on and it's really cooling it's just something that's quite natural and i just think that this beats 
after sun in my opinion. Another travel essential they will always say to take and you can get them from Poundland, from Home Bargains, anywhere like that is a waterproof toiletries bag. Now I got this one from Primark, it's a little mermaid bag um, but anywhere you want to get a waterproof bag I would suggest purchasing one for holiday. The reason being when you're on holiday you've got something that you can put all your important things in if you're going down by the pool or going down to the sea. It's something that you've got that's waterproof to put like phones and room keys and jewellery. So yes that is an essential. Good thing that I think is really important to take away with you, which isn't necessarily an essential, but something to save you money, and that is inflatables. Bought the boys a beach ball, and we've also bought Lucas like a little blow up car. I got this from Poundland, there's loads in Poundland. I really recommend taking, buying inflatables here and taking them away if you've got the luggage allowance. Now I know inflatables can be quite heavy, but something like this doesn't cost a lot to chuck in your suitcase. And when you get on holiday, they cost an absolute bomb. I think the last time I went away, I think I paid 30 euros for a Lilo. And it was just like a really flimsy one. It didn't even have a cup holder. I mean, what kind of Lilo doesn't have a cup holder? <laughs> We've bought ourselves some nice inflatables that were actually quite reasonably priced. Matt has bought me a really nice big one for me and the kids for holiday because it is my birthday that we're going away for as well. So I will leave that linked below. But yeah, if you wanted to get anything, I would say inflatables are a great thing to take away if you're going on holiday where there's gonna be a pool. Almost there. I just wanna talk briefly about kids' safety when swimming. So we've got two children. We always take away little life jacket vests. This is just from Home Bargains and it was only, I think, 3 99 And it is just a nice zip up life jacket with floats in and I just think if your kids are running by a pool or anywhere near water it's just a little bit of peace of mind to have them in something like this and I just think the weight of it is nothing to pop into your suitcase. We actually bought Leo this one is from Amazon um, obviously and this one we bought him for holiday again it's really lightweight but this one is just a little bit more um it's a little bit more slim line, so it's easy for him to wear in the pool. But yeah, this one was more expensive, but like for a cheap alternative, the one from Home Bargains is absolutely fine. The last item is an investment, but it works out cheaper in the long run. And that is this little device here. Now I got mine from Amazon. We think Home Bargains sell these. I will leave the link to mine below. Get as many USB ports on as you like, but it is like a USB adapter. So all you do is you pop your USB into your plug, but then you only need to get one travel adapter. So I think this is such a good idea for when you're doing things like your phone or if the children have got tablets, you can just put one plug in and then on this one you've got three USB ports. We sometimes do this with extension leads as well, so you've got multiple plugs. I don't know about you, but I know when we go on holiday, there just seems to be like one plug throughout the whole place so yeah we do take extension needs as well but we started doing this with the usbs now because majority of things are usbs the phones the tablets our fitbits i think it's really a great idea to buy one of these for holiday and like i say it saves you a lot of money in the long run because you don't have to buy loads of adapters Mine always go missing. I must have bought so many of these over the years. And then I'm always rooting around to try and find one when we go on holiday. So this has just been an absolute lifesaver. So those are some of my bargain, holiday and travel essentials. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and I'm so excited to share the rest of this series with you. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I would love for you to subscribe and stick around. Don't forget to hit the bell so you know when I'm uploading next. And until next time guys, take care. Bye! From place, from... And da, 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 da. oh, oh, I think I might need to take the fake tail off. I think I might need to do something with my hair though. Hello. Oh, you can see.
see what I've like done really bad. Oh dear me. I don't think any amount of bronzer is going to help that to be fair, pal.